Whatever else we take away from the president's first overseas trip, and it's had its moments, the news organization Axios reports today there's a reason we haven't been talking about the president's Twitter feed. The piece says Trump's staff has been endeavoring to, quote, load up his schedule to keep him from getting worked up watching cable coverage, which often precipitates his tweets. And remember Reince Priebus and Steve Bannon leaving Saudi Arabia early to head back to Washington. They've been tasked with creating a so-called war room to deal with the mounting scandals dogging the administration. Quote, we're getting street fighters ready to go, is how one Trump ally put it. The author of that reporting is with us tonight, Mike Allen, veteran of the New York Times, Time, and Politico. His morning newsletter for his new venture, Axios, is required reading for much of media and politics. And we're so happy to welcome back Jeremy Peters, New York Times political reporter. Okay, Mike, to you, is this president going to return to American soil? a changed consumer of media and producer of media, or are these new uh, staff behaviors trip specific? Brian, if there's one thing we know about President Trump is he is not gonna change. He is who he is. Some people love it, others don't. President Trump who is who he is, and that's why his staff tries to build these guardrails around him, and one of them is limiting his screen time. So. During this trip, uh, they have liked the fact that he's been busy and he's been in settings where there's been a lot of pop and circumstance and he has been heralded. They love the swords in Saudi Arabia, all that because it kept uh, President Trump away from distractions. So, Jeremy, he is going to come back again from this first uh, uh, overseas trip. He was quoted as dreading it before it started. Uh, he's going to come back jet lagged. He's going to come back to this drumbeat of press coverage uh, produced by people like you and people like us. Um, and what of his agenda? There is that notion back to the work at hand. That's absolutely right, Brian, and it's very difficult to see where Republicans and President Trump gain traction on that agenda. I mean, if, I, I like to think about this in three distinct areas, all of which appear very problematic right now. The first is health care reform. Mitch McConnell made a, a, an absolutely remarkable admission the other day when he said he didn't know where he was going to get the 50 votes. And that means that he's not even thinking he can get a majority of his own conference. He needs Mike Pence as the vice president to break the tie and cast the 51st vote. So there's that. You can't really do tax reform until you get health care reform out of the way because of the budget deficit reduction that would be included in reforming the health care system. You, you need that extra money to pass the tax cuts that President Trump wants. Now, Republicans on Capitol Hill are already tempering their expectations about whether or not they can get a grand package of tax reform legislation passed, and they think maybe they could get at best something like like a reduction in some corporate and, and, and individual rates. Then you have the president's budget. I mean, the, the president's budget was already declared essentially dead on arrival by his own party. And that's pretty extraordinary. It, th th these budgets are usually political documents, but to have members of his own party saying this isn't going anywhere is, 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 is a new thing and a sign of just how it weakened this president's agenda is on Capitol Hill right now. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.